for the past two weeks, there isn't an event that I've attended that I wasn't asked some version of what is going on with the unaccompanied minors, what is going on in our border. So I thought I'd take a couple of minutes to just give my thoughts. What, what, there are some, things, some takeaways that are just not being discussed. The fact of the matter is, there is a huge number of minors, those under 18, who are trying to get into the United States and they're being apprehended on the border. So the first takeaway is the fact is that they are being apprehended. The second and the pro probably the more important question is, what is happening, why is it happening, and what should we do about it? Regarding what is happening, the, the majority of these kids are coming from Guatemala, Nicaragua, and El Salvador. They are crossing from Central America by themselves or with strangers, going through Mexico. Some are actually stopping in Mexico and countries in between. The rates of requests for asylum in other countries is also going up significantly. That's not being discussed either. But the fact of the matter is, there's been upwards, you hear numbers of 50,000, you hear 70, you hear 90,000. There are large numbers of kids who have been coming to the U.S. in the past six or seven months in unprecedented numbers. And the reason is simple. The situation that they find themselves is truly horrific in their country. I, I have one client now, father, husband, is in the U.S. and has been for some time, came here to work. His wife and mother of her two kids, who just turned 18, was working in the fields in El Salvador. And members of a gang of MS-13 came and kidnapped a friend of hers working right next to her. Next day, that woman is found dead. Now, the wife and mother was accosted by members of MS-13 who followed her home, threatened her, threatened her family, threatened her kids, that they would kill her. She picked up and came, and came to the U.S. She was apprehended at the border, and she's now being detained in Texas. And, and let me tell you, it is not a pleasant experience. She is just one of thousands who find themselves in that exact scenario. The difference for her is she just turned 18, so she's no longer considered a minor. Um, but she was when she was initially apprehended. They're not coming here because Obama granted deferred action. They're coming here because the gangs are taking over their countries, they're threatening everybody, and they act with impunity. There is no real rule of law. You can't turn to the police there because the police, frankly, is on the payroll for some of these gangs. For in mom's situation, just a couple of houses down the street from her, there is a known gang location, part of MS-13, where routinely cops go to have fun. Now, you can't go to the police asking and complaining about this organization when you know that there are local cops who are on their payroll. So what do you do? If you fear for your, for your life or for your family, you take them elsewhere. Where are they going to go? That's the problem. And that's what's going on. And that's why even you see kids, families are paying thousands of dollars. They're putting them in the custody of people they don't know, of strangers, who are going to shepherd them from one group to another until they come to the U.S. with the hopes of being reunited with a loved one and with the hopes of a better life because they have no life in their country. We can debate about what should happen, but let's be clear about what's going on. My name is Andres Mecher. I'm a New Jersey immigration attorney. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to be in touch with us through Facebook, on our website, andresmecherlaw.com, or by calling our toll-free number, 888-695-6169.